Today in our 2015 Buick Encore, we're going to be taking a look at installing the T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118588. Now right now our four-way trailer plug is stored away from the elements. When we're ready to use it, we'll lift up our cover. We can set our wire out through whatever length you're going to need. Then we'll lay it across the sill plate, across this rubber weather seal. Just make sure you stay away from the latch area and you can simply close your hatch, remove your cover, plug in your trailer and you're ready to go. When you're all done, put your protective cover back on, open up your hatch, lift up your wiring and we'll just store it away for future use. Completely hidden and out of the way. Now this is what your kit's going to consist of. Your four flat wiring with protective cover, the modulator, and our T1 connections that are going to go in between your tail light and your factory wiring. You have a hardware kit. It's going to have all the parts needed to install. What this is going to do is stop your vehicle electrical system from being overloaded by hooking your trailer into it. And it's going to simply plug in so you're not going to have to cut any factory wiring. And we'll have one wire that's going to go up to the battery to supply power to the module. This way if your vehicle has separate turn signals and running lamps and stop lamps, this will convert them to a trailer which is going to have combined stop and turn signals. Now we can go ahead and get started on our install. We'll begin by removing the cargo cover, setting it aside. Then we're going to need to remove this sill plate. So there's two 10 millimeter bolts on your package hooks. We'll take those out. Now we'll just lift up this sill plate. It's got a couple of snaps underneath it. Just pull up firmly. Now we're going to need to gain access to the back of our tail lights. So we're going to pop off this trim cover. Slip it out of the way. And you can see we have access to the back of our tail light wiring. Now it'll be necessary to remove to slide back this gray clip. Once you have the lock slid back, you can press in, slide off your connector. Now we can route our passenger side wiring down first. That's going to be the one with the green and the red. We'll go down to the bottom, then we can reach under and grab our wiring. And we'll go ahead and pull this out. We're going to have to run that to the passenger side of the vehicle. We're also going to need to get our four flat wire down there. It'll be the same procedure. We'll just push it down. We can pull this wire through. Before we stick the rest of our module back in there, we're going to take our supplied wire that's going to run to the front to the battery for power. We'll strip it back. We'll do the same thing with the black wire and the modulator. Then we'll take one of the supplied yellow butt connectors and we will attach those two wires together. Crimp it firmly. Same thing on the other side with our wire. We'll wrap some electrical tape around it. We'll take our black wire and run it down to the bottom as well. We need to route that to the front of the car to attach to the battery. Now it's going to be necessary to attach a ground wire. And we have a bolt here that's going right to the body. We're just going to loosen that up and we're going to attach our ring loop connector from our ground wire underneath that and we'll re-secure it. Now we'll take our T connector and attach it to the wire that we unplugged from the back of the light. Snap it in, and we'll push in the lock, and that locks the wire from coming out. And we'll take the other end, and we'll slide that on to the back of our light. And that's going to be the same thing, just push it on, listen for the snap, give it a tug. Now we can bundle up our wires, and make sure you have one for the other side all the way out. We'll bundle up the excess, zip tie it up.
cut off our excess. Then we can zip tie the modulator to the wiring harness. It does come with some two-sided tape, but in this instance we can't get anything that's a flat surface to attach it to, so we're going to zip tie it out of the way. And we'll trim off the excess. Now we can pop our trim panel back in. Now we can go to the passenger side, remove our access door. And we'll have the same kind of panel on this side. Pop it out of the way. And there's our gray lock again. I'll slide the lock back. I'm going to press it in the center. Slide it back. Now we're going to follow the factory wiring harness inside this body panel. Take a piece of tubing as a fish wire. We'll run it through, just make it a little easier on us. Place a little tape around the end of the plug. And we can gently pull it through. And we can just zip tie it to our factory harness. We'll trim off the excess, clean up our look. And to make things easier on this side, we'll just go ahead and put our piece of fish wire tubing down inside. We can attach it to the end of the plug, pull it up into position. Once we have our wire up, take it and we'll snap one end into the factory connector. Listen for the snap. Snap our lock back in. And we'll set this back into the plug on the back of our tail light. Listen for the snap. So we want to give it a little tug just to make sure it's on there. Now we'll tie up our excess wiring with a zip tie. Trim it off. We'll set it inside and we can reinstall our cover. Now we can put our door back on, snap it shut. Now our black power wire, I simply tucked it behind this package tray here and went in behind our seats and went towards the front of the car. Now we can reinstall the sill plate on the back of the car. Just going to tuck this back behind. Once you have that down, we can put our hold down clips back on with our 10 millimeter socket. This wire we're going to leave lay back here. It'll sit inside the package tray when it's not in use. Now we ran our wire after we got from the back. We ran the wire behind the seat, followed around our sill plates, tucked it up underneath, and we followed it all the way to the front. Underneath the sill plate, up under the dash, we tucked it underneath, came up behind the back. You can see the wire coming out right here. Followed their factory wiring harness. We poked it through the grommet there and came out on the other side by the battery. Now we can zip tie it onto the harness. Then we need to get access to our battery. And once we've got our wire run out here, we're going to need to install the supplied fuse holder. And we'll just cut it in the middle. And we can strip it back on both ends, about a quarter of an inch. On one end, we're going to put a ring connector, crimp that on. On the other end, we'll put our yellow butt connector that's supplied. We're going to need to figure out where we're going to cut our wire. And we're going to route it around so we have access to our fuse box should we ever have the reason to change a fuse. Cut off our excess and we can strip this one back about a quarter of an inch. Install that into the other end. Crimp that. Give it a tug. Now we'll put a little bit of electrical tape on it to keep any moisture or corrosion out of there. We're going to go ahead and take off this 12 millimeter nut. 
placed on our connector. We'll reinstall that nut and tighten it back down. Once you've got that nice and snug, just going to tuck it inside, put our cover back on, and we can install our fuse, put on our protective cover. Then we'll just tie up the rest of our wires here and we'll be ready to test it. Let's go ahead and try our tail lights. Our left turn, right turn, and our brake. It's going to be a solid signal for these two. Perfect. Now we're ready to hit the road. That's going to do it for our look at and install of the T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118588 on our 2015 Buick Encore.